The following program is being brought to you on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. For more information about our network and to check out additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit VoiceAmerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the following program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff, and management. Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone, to the show today. I was telling the guests as we were waiting for the show to start how excited I've been to have both of them on the same show and to really talk about what we're going to be sharing about today, which is really how to treat yourself like a star. You are your greatest asset. And we're going to be really exploring some of the mindsets you want to have as you're learning how to give yourself that star treatment. Vicki's going to be sharing how to really access your star power. And then Laura is going to be sharing with us how to really build a nourishing life so you can maintain your star power. So you're in for a real treat today. Um, Vicki and Laura, I want to welcome you both to the show. Thank you so much, Rebecca. I'm so pleased to be here. I'm Hi, really, Rebecca. It's so good to I'm be on your show. So glad to have you both. And before we get too deep into the show, I wanted to walk listeners through some ways to navigate through the system because we love hearing from you. So if you want to give us a call during the show, please call 888-346-9141. Again, that's 888-346-9141. Simply call, let them know that you had a question for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives, or for Rebecca, and we will take as many of those throughout the show that we can work in as time allows. And then secondly, if you prefer emailing or typing, if you look at the banner, if you're listening to the show live, you'll see a banner that says Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Right below that, you're going to see how you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, which of course we love and encourage you to do so. But you'll also see a gray box right there that says send a message to the host. So you would simply click on that and I'll be sent an email during the show and we'll be happy to work your question or your thought or your aha into the show because our guests are very, very knowledgeable and love to hear from you and really serve you so you can be a star in your own life. And then as an extra treat, we have free gifts for you today, right ladies? That's right. (laughs) So we want to make sure you know how to find them. So if you're on that same page and you scan over to the right, you're going to see links. And it'll say favorite links. And the top one there is going to say free show gifts. It's a yellowish orange color. Just click on that and it'll take you right to the free gift page. And you're going to see the amazing gifts that our guests are making available to you today. As well as guests that pa- or gifts that past guests are also making available to you. So I really, really encourage you to check that out. Um, I have some of the most generous guests, if I may say so myself, <laughs> on the show. And really... Really, really want to serve you. If you're happening to listen to the replay, here's another way you can find those free gifts. If you go to my main website, which is www.yourpurposedrivenpractice.com, and you click the radio show tab up in the left-hand corner, you'll see a green oval you can click that says learn more about free gifts. So that's another way you can access these free gifts because we want to get them into your hands. And I've been thinking a lot this week about this concept of being a star in your own life and being your own greatest asset. And some of the things I feel like come up against us when we're considering that or we're trying to step into that space 
we can get a little overwhelmed. We can feel like there is a lot of demands on us. We're being pulled too many directions. We're getting spread too thin. People want more of us than we can bring forth at a time. And I was in Lucky's, the supermarket, just a little while back. And the lines were really long that day. And I don't remember if it was a holiday or they had closed down some of the lines. I don't remember why, but they were very, very long. And, you know, people can get a little frustrated or impatient when the lines are long. And I was sitting there thinking, oh, well, this isn't how I pictured spending this amount of time. But I decided to actually be present and started looking at the people around me because I think people are fascinating. And I was watching and one of the checkout ladies was just like happy as a clam shining it was like she was in her element there was all this chaos all these people and they're getting a little cranky and she's just happy as can be ringing them up chit-chatting along bringing the next person and it was like this was the best day ever for her <laughs> and this little um, petite lady came up with one of the, a grandmother type and she leaned over to the checkout lady informing her you know the lines are kind of long, aren't you a little frustrated? Like she wasn't behaving right, being happy in this element. (laughs) And I remember the checkout lady looked at her and she said, my line's not long, I'm just popular. And I loved it. That was how she viewed it. And instead of having the busyness and the overwhelm take over and rob her from the moment, she was enjoying it and she had shifted her perspective to see that she was in demand that she was popular that she mattered in that moment and the lady who had leaned across and was trying to let her know this wasn't the time to be happy like that laughed and I was so grateful that I had selected to be present so I could hear that wisdom and take it with me and be able to pass it on and share So what I invite you to do, if you're feeling overwhelmed at moments, perhaps check in and see, is it a time, a moment, where you can actually sit back and realize, taking a deep breath, wow, I'm just extra popular today. And I think it'll really shift the moment for you in a positive way. The other thought that came to mind is sometimes we can develop patterns in our life that are taking our energy, that are taking our time, that are taking our resources, and we see them as investments, little seedlings that we're sheltering and they're growing and eventually they're going to grow their own roots and become their own beautiful expression out in the world. And that's an investment we want to make. However, there are these other things called parasites that have no roots and will never (laughs) grow roots and become their own separate entity because they survive off of living off of other organisms. And they can do it to such an extent that they can actually destroy and kill the organism that they're living off of. And so what I encourage you to do in your life, especially as we're looking to help you be a star, is to really look and see the things that you're pouring energy into, the things that you're sheltering, the things that you're investing in, really stop and do a check-in. Are they a seedling or are they a parasite? And if you discover a parasite, which can be a habit, It can be a relationship. It can be um, ways that we're choosing to spend our time that are not really helping us move towards our goals. But parasites don't like having their food source cut off. (laughs) So if you happen to discover a parasite of some sort, I really encourage you to build a plan as you're starting to put boundaries around it Because parasites are dangerous. And I really want to make sure you are the star in your own life. And you don't have some of those parasites that you think are seedlings, that they're in disguise. I want you to be very aware and get support if you do discover one of those parasites. So that you have 
support as the parasite may not like its food source being cut off as you're shifting them away or putting boundaries around them so you can really stand in your star power for the long term. I really want you to be the star your entire life. And with that, I would love us just to take a deep breath together, including my amazing guests. And if you're not driving, I invite you to close your eyes. If you happen to be driving and you're listening to us, um, just pretend you closed your eyes, but stay safe. (laughs) And in this space, as you're breathing in, I want you to ask yourself, what is it that I need today, this week? What is it that you need to stand in your star power and just see what word or phrase comes to your heart and your mind. Sometimes it helps if you put both your hands over your heart as you're breathing in and asking that question. Because I want you to have clarity on what you're looking for, what you need this week, today, to help you discover and stand in your star power. And ladies, I didn't know if Vicki, perhaps you had a word, a phrase, or a picture come to your mind that you'd like to share. I did, Rebecca. That was two beautiful um, pieces of information that you just gave. And the, what came to me was two words, lens. Like, what is the lens that I'm going to look through that's going to really filter out? And that brings me to the second word, which is discernment. How am I going to discern what is it that feeds me and what is it that drains me? So what is, what is the lens that I look at to be able to cultivate that kind of discernment? Mm. Thank you. Really, really great thoughts. Perspective. Yeah. I love that. And how about you, Laura? One that came to me was trust. And it's trust in a couple of ways. One is that I trust that my star power is ready to shine. And Mm -hmm. I trust that my star power has a place in the world and that it's supported. Beautiful. So I'm just breathing that in with you. And I think the word that really came to my mind was shine. And it's shine in a few ways. It's discovering ways and really making sure I'm building them into my life that will help me shine in a consistent way. So maybe that's making sure I get enough sleep and I allow for that, that I allow down moments because I can really pack my schedule very tightly if I'm not paying attention and aware. But really, um, it even ties in a little bit to the discernment that you were bringing up, Vicki, that it's really choosing the things around me that can help me stand in that shiny place to be the star in my life that I'm called to be. And those are the things that I really want to be on the lookout for. And we're getting ready to go to commercial break. My goodness, that time came up really fast. (laughs) So as we get ready to go to commercial, I invite you to just sit in that quiet space a little bit more. See if you have some more thoughts or ideas that come up because that will help us serve you even better on the show today. And it'll help you really be on the lookout for what you need this week to be able to shine. We'll talk to you in just a moment. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. 
Have you friended us on Facebook yet? Why not? Just go to Facebook.com forward slash Voice America or search for the keywords Voice America. Once you are part of our Facebook network, you'll receive daily messages about what's happening with our shows, this week's featured guests, and new happenings of the Voice America Talk Radio Network. And you can add your voice to the always active discussions on our wall. Just go to Facebook.com forward slash Voice America or search for Voice America. Your people are waiting for you. Do you speak to have more impact and grow your business? Your people are waiting for you, waiting to hear your unique message. Learn to speak more effectively on the Speakers Summit, a free summit designed for speakers like you. More info at thespeakersummit.com. Your people are waiting for you. Are you ready for them? Your people are waiting for you. Be ready. We're making it easier to listen to the Voice America Talk Radio Network wherever you go. In addition to listening live, you can check out information about your favorite talk show hosts, discover new talk show personalities, add shows to your list of favorites, and listen to all our show archives on demand. All from your iPhone, BlackBerry, or Android. Download it from the Apple App Store, BlackBerry App World, or Android Market, and get ready to tune in. The Voice America mobile app, powered by Aircast. Build your better business. Achieve that goal. Make good on that resolution. The Voice America Empowerment Channel. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at one 346 9141 That's one 346 9141 You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you had a nice break and you had some really great thoughts or insights that you were able to discover, either things that you're looking for to really help you stand in your star power, or perhaps it's having discernment or trusting, as as some of our guests were sharing today, that I really, really hope you are able to find what you need to be able to move forward and stand as a star in your own life. Really excited to introduce our first guest here. She is a, gosh, she's, you're so many things to me, Vicki. I was just sitting here for a moment <laughs> trying to sort through all to say, but I love Vicki. I love her energy. I love her attitude. She's beautiful, humble, truly connected and wanted to, so I'm really honored to have you on my show. Back at you. <laughs> and Wanted to just share a little bit, and, and please know this is just a snippet of her background about her. She is an author. She's the founder of Way of Joy. She has her own radio show, Chi Talks. Um, Way of Joy is a spiritual fitness program. She's a transformational speaker, a theater performer that has had sold out shows from coast to coast. And she was recently inducted in the women's martial arts hall of fame for her 40 years of work with tai chi am i saying that correctly vicky well it's uh, tai chi and qigong but yes you are okay. absolutely you. are great thank you it's just a huge accomplishment and we were chatting about that a little bit on the break so congratulations again just an amazing accomplishment um, well earned and one of the phrases i always associate with you is how you're changing lives in a New York minute. <laughs> Do you mind sharing where that phrase came from? Um, you know, that phrase basically came from my background. I grew up in New York City, and I think it's a, it's a, it's a culture, both in terms of my own familial environment as well as the culture of that particular part of the, of the, the country that you know, sort of thrives on stress. It's like, how many things can you get done? And, and doing things in a New York minute, being able to uh, have things that you can access quickly is actually, can be both a strength and a limitation. Of course, we know stress can be very 
detrimental to our health and to our well-being. But when we can start to transform that stress into pure energy and think about being able to do things quickly, not um, mindlessly, still being able to be mindful, but to not feel like we have to, in order to achieve a certain level of well-being or peace of heart, that we need to sell all our belongings and move to the mountaintop, you know, and just meditate for there forever. We can actually create change fairly quickly, and it's not as difficult as we might think, that there's actually tools that we can do that are embodied that can shift things, So, particularly when we want to shine or be in our star power. Wonderful. Well, thank you. And it can be as fast as in a New York minute. <laughs> yes, exactly. exactly. Perfect. Well, welcome officially to the show. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And I always love asking my guests their why. Why is the way of joy and um, being able to change lives in a New York minute and really accessing, helping people access their star power? Why is that work so important to you? Oh, there's so many reasons. I think for myself personally, I came from a place of being kind of diminished or or invisible. I I had a very star type of father who was very well known in his field, and I was very muted a lot as a kid. And as I began to work more and more with coming out of myself, I realized and started, I was able to make more connections with people, and I realized, particularly among women, the depth of wisdom and power that we have as, as leaders, as people who can really be there to serve in very powerful ways. So I think that the, the passion that I have behind it has to do with, I know that if I could go from being almost muted to being able to be in front of hundreds of people, you know, with, you know, the, the sold out shows and stuff that I, I was doing, I've been doing, that, 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 that means that we can, anyone can do it. If I can do it, anyone can do it. And I really want to share that because I really feel like that's what's going to create a planetary shift. The more we speak from our hearts, the more we show up in our own brilliance, the more things begin to change. And I'd like to see a paradigm shift in my lifetime. So that's a right here, right now, New York Minute type of attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. And actually, I want to take a moment, if we could, guests and listeners, I'd like us to intentionally breathe in your intention to see that paradigm shift right here, right now in your lifetime. Is it okay if we do that? Yes. Okay. So what I'd like those, uh, all of listeners, guests, if you're able to stand again, not if you're driving, I want you to just stand, ground yourself, breathe in. Vicki's beautiful intention to bring that powerful shift right here, right now, in our lifetimes. Helping those that are feeling muted or unseen really be seen, really tap into their star power, bringing their wisdom and beauty forth in a beautiful and powerful way. Breathe that in. Out. And then just raise your hands up, kind of releasing and sharing that with all around you. One more big breath. (sighs) Wonderful. Thank you, everyone. So know we are supporting and celebrating that with you, Vicki. I love it. You just created a wonderful synergy field. So that was beautiful. Great. Thank you. And one of the questions I I wanted to ask you, because we're talking about star power, and I know you have the ability to help us recenter and tap into our star power in a lot of different ways, that that's one of your gifts. Do you mind sharing with us one of your favorite ways to access star power? Um, Yeah, I'd love to. One of my very favorite ways comes from the... Chinese martial art, which is called Qigong, which is really basically a style of movement meditation. And in the the system of Qigong, there's something called Wei Qi. And Wei Qi has to do with our externalized energy. It's the very thing you were talking about, both with the lady checker who said that she was popular as opposed to overwhelmed, and also when you were talking about parasites, because start, when you tap into this field of energy, you basically begin to emanate out of field. It's sort of what draws you to 
who want to talk to someone or want to avoid them. It's that energy that feel that comes off of somebody. It's, it's not exactly, you know, we get our various types of cues from how they speak or what they say, but then there's also something that we can sometimes feel in our own bodies, whether we're drawn or repelled. So for me, when I think about the, my favorite way to do it, it's really about breathing into your solar plexus, which is the source of your Wei Qi. And as you let your solar plexus re- relax, you actually begin to emanate out an energy field that can be actually palpable. I had had the opportunity recently to have some Curlian photographs where they take you know pictures and you can see your auric field, which I didn't even know if I believed in. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, I did this Wei Qi, focused on my solar plexus, plexus, did this type of breathing practice, and my auric field grew probably four feet. It was an incredible thing to see in a picture where it was before it was kind of tight in around my body. All of a sudden, I began to glow. So when I think about star power, I'm thinking about literally being like a star. Mm. And for those of us who don't know where our solar plex is, can you help us understand that? Good question, Rebecca. Yes. <laughs> if you put your hand right below where your ribs come together, all the way down to your belly button, that round circle in between your ribs, right where the ribs come together on top, and then there's that little bone hanging down called the xiphoid process. It's those of you who've done CPR, you're not supposed to break it off when you do it. So there's that little bone, right below that little bone, all the way down to your belly button, that all that soft area in between the ribs uh, and the floating ribs um, is your solar plexus. So it's a very vast area. You can't really go wrong. So you just put your hand on it. You can feel, notice if it's feeling tight or soft. And for many of us, it tends to feel tight because it's where we tend to try to protect ourselves. But when we can relax it, we actually create a field of energy that's even more protective because it's not so tight into our bodies. Mm, wonderful. Thank you. I, I appreciate that explanation. I was putting my hands in the wrong place, so thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you asked. Yes. No, I want to emanate my star power, so thank you. <laughs> yes. And then another question. Well, let me see. I'm trying to choose which one I want to ask next. What I'd like to shift to for just a moment because I want to make sure we give this ample time I know you put together an amazing free gift for us do you mind sharing what that is oh I would be delighted I'm so excited I was happy really happy putting this gift together because I've done martial arts for over 40 years you know I've really thought a lot about what is it that makes for good energy like if somebody is able to break through a board with their hand and just kind of go through it or I saw recently on Facebook a a little movie of a girl who was maybe 12 years old break through about 20 bricks with her head and that's not about Mm. muscle that's not even about will that's something else and so I was thinking about what if we could take that same energetic ability and apply it in our businesses or in our relationships in our families in our lives and what would that do and so what I've done is I sort of stripped down to the bottom of what is it that's behind, what are the secrets behind good energy or what some people back, you know, here I'll date myself, called good vibes or good vibrations. Um, what is that energy about and how do we access it? So I've put together three videos where people can have, in, in, in the, in the three videos are less than 10 minutes altogether, so they're about two and a half minutes each, where they can actually begin to do things very, very quickly. They don't have to break a board with their hand, but <laughs> very, very quickly that they can do physically that will help shift them into that place where they are in their star, where they are beginning to glow, where that energy inside is giving them that sense of confidence, of wholeness, of ability to own their own authority, and at the same time to be able to express it with clarity, to be able to break through the brain mutter and the self-doubts that come in and be able to just really let yourself be all of who you are with a sense of um, acceptance or even pride. Uh, and these are wonderfully simple things that are sort of behind almost all martial arts, I would say, and yet at the same time they can be applied by anybody, even if you have, don't have the slightest interest in those arts. And on these videos, if we're at my level where I'm not even quite sure my solar plex is, <laughs> will yes. I be able to follow along and really well, step into that identify, star power? <laughs> where I, I, I made it. I made it, I think, very, very clear. It's something where if you can figure out where your feet are and where the top of your head is, 
that's going to be really helpful. I'm <laughs> um, good then. Okay, good. <laughs> in the same way that we just did, uh, it's all very, very simple. It's 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 basic. It's the basics. It's the foundation. It doesn't have anything to do with knowing anything about your body or how energy works or anything like that. It's really very basic, but something that's you know, accessible to somebody to do right away. That's going to create a shift right away, simply by shifting your alignment and then shifting how you're using your breath and then shifting where you're putting your intention. So I'm, I believe that it's um, 100% accessible. It certainly has been for everybody that I've shared it with so far. Wonderful. Thank you so much for, for putting that together for us and making that available for my listeners. I truly appreciate that. It's very generous of you. No, it's a joy to do. And we're getting ready to go to another commercial break. So I really want to encourage listeners, if you have questions, if you have comments, please send us a quick note or email. You can just click that box saying, I have a question for the host, or you can call in. And then make sure you're accessing this amazing free gift that Vicki has so generously made available to you. So make sure to click that free show gifts link. And we'll talk to you in just a moment. on Facebook along with some of the greatest minds of the world and that includes you visit us on Facebook at Voice America Empowerment we all want peace we all desire a more meaningful life we work hard to achieve these things but at what avail the key is authentic living with Andrea Matthews Andrea will interview some of the great spiritual experts of today and will provide wisdom to help you raise your consciousness to the level of your own I am. Your authenticity can give you miraculous gifts, but you have to know how to get there. Listen for Authentic Living with Andrea Matthews. Heard live every Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Pacific Time on the 7th Wave Network. Get ready to experience a more fulfilling lifestyle. Tune in to Direct Connect Empowerment with host Fee Mazanke. The show will feature guests who have changed their lives by using the Direct Connect coaching program or have worked with the same concepts that this program offers. By hearing how others have been transformed, you will be inspired to move forward. Direct Connect Empowerment with Fee Mazanke can be heard live every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Tune in to the Voice America Variety Channel on the Voice America Talk Radio Network. Voice America Variety broadcasts a diverse array of topics, reaching a global community. Our experts come from all walks of life, and the topics they discuss are everything from current events, arts and entertainment, leadership, parenting, relationships, self-improvement, career advice, and a variety of other topics. Check us out today. You're sure to find something of interest. Voice America Variety. Talk on today's hot topics. Find out what makes the most successful people tick. Keep listening to the Voice America Empowerment Channel. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed your break and that you're accessing and checking out all of those amazing free gifts that are generously being made available to you. Our next guest that I'm honored to introduce to you is also a great friend of mine, Laura Lopez. And Laura has this amazing warm energy where you just feel hugged everywhere you go. (laughs) And she was sharing with me the other day that uh, sometimes people she doesn't even know kind of come up to her and want to connect with her. So she's always kind of emanating that hug, (laughs) star power. Out everywhere she goes. So, Laura, I'm really honored to, to have you on the show today. And guests, I hope, and listeners, I hope you feel that hug energy as we go through <laughs> our sharing today. 
And just to give a little more formal uh, background of Laura, she's an empowering and motivational speaker, an author. She has certifications in energy medicine, conscious body work, Reiki, yoga, a degree in psychology, as well as a background in corporate America. So a really diverse mix. And I was thinking about the phrase, Vicki, that you were that we're using around some of what you're sharing about changing lives in a New York minute. The phrase I associate with you, Laura, is how you help people implement choices today that create a lifetime of balance in their tomorrows. Yes, yes. Laura, I I welcome you. (laughs) Thank you so much, Rebecca. It's an honor to be on your show today. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. And Laura, I'd love to know your why. Why helping people implement choices today and really building, another phrase I hear you will say a lot is building a nourishing life. Why is that work so important to you? The short answer is that I want to empower women to be more of themselves and less of who everyone else expects them to be. And the longer answer behind that story is that I got to a point in my life where I had given everything to my work, to my family and my friends, and had given and given my service to the point of self-sacrifice. And at the age of 39, I was feeling 89 and having to crawl up my stairs at the end of the day because I was being of service to everyone else at the sacrifice of myself. And I know a lot of us can identify with that and really getting lost in the service of others and not only becoming so drained, but even at at times, I would say, lose who we are. Yes, exactly. I find a lot of the women that I work with become the roles that we take on. We become the mother, the daughter, the teacher, the soccer mom, the taxi mom, um, the corporate executive, whatever it is. We become those roles. And the woman, the person, the innate being, the star, if you will, that we are underneath those roles gets lost along the way. Mm -hmm. And what is your secret or, or one of your secrets, if you'll share it with us. <laughs> to... uh, well, I, do, I do have many secrets, but <laughs> the, one, the one that keeps coming to my heart today uh-huh. is the one that I call enough is enough. Mm. And what that's about is if you look at the star power of your life and the juice as if it were a kind of battery and all the things that you do to commit to charging it, also look at all the things that drain it. Mm. And at some point in time, enough is enough, and we need to say no to things. And that's where I have people create a not-to-do list, (laughs) and that helps to refocus their energy, their time, and their resources on what is truly a priority for them. I like that. It's a different perspective than I've heard. I've heard about the to-do list, but I I like that, a not-to-do list. So I, and I would add not feeding parasites to the list. (laughs) Yes, that's right. (laughs) And I do believe sometimes that the process of elimination can be our our very good friend. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And does this... Well, I want to see if I can pull another secret out of you. Is, is that okay? Okay, sure. Okay, so sure. Here, here's the secret I'm looking for. Oh, okay. <laughs> if, if you're willing to share. Yes. I know you have a little different perspective on willpower. What is yes. your, your secret around that or your thought around that? My thought around willpower is that it is a muscle that gets overused. It's And it's a short-term muscle. It's a sprint, if you will. And life is a marathon. So in the long run, if you are looking to shine your star power for the duration of your life, willpower is not going to get you there. And that's where building your skill power comes in. 
And how does someone build their skill power? What is that and how do they do that? Well, building your skill power comes down to several things. So I'll be giving some more of my secrets. But Is that okay? Me, I don't mean to pull all yes, your secrets. No, just I few. don't mind at all. I don't mind. For example, here's one skill. One skill is redefinition and reframing. And one of the things that I ask people to redefine in their life is what is convenient. It's easy to reach for something that's right in front of you that seems like it's a package of some kind that is the answer to the question. But again, that could be a really short-term fix. When in the long run, what you need is to develop a plan and a process and a solution that will serve your personal convenience in your life for the long run. So it's a choice. What you said about uh, implementing choices today, those are practices that we do in each moment. So I encourage people to practice, for example, redefining what's convenient and taking that extra moment to look in the long term. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. And I know another subject that you're really passionate about is people developing their own personal treasure map. Do you mind sharing a little yes, bit about that? Yes. So your own personal treasure map is something that came to me that I've been sharing with my clients. And it literally is a treasure map that it's a document that you could, in fact, roll up if you wanted. But it has the compass and it has the terrain of your life laid out so that you can see it with a whole new perspective and get the grand scope of the terrain and the topography of your life, unique treasure map that it is. And based on our discovery sessions together, we create that path to take you to where X marks the spot, and that's the place where your star power is really going to shine. Mm. And do you mind sharing with us a little bit about your free gift? Sure, absolutely. My free gift is an ebook, which mm-hmm. is entitled Escape the Willpower Trap Seven Secrets to Doubling Your Energy and Getting Your Life Back. So I briefly discussed a couple of those secrets today, but essentially, these are mindsets to move you from willpower into skill power and things that you can practice in your everyday life to break that cycle of looking for the short-term fix and looking instead to the long-term change and making permanent change happen for you. And how does this tie into your treasure map and, and your star power? Well, when you escape the willpower trap and you... Part of the enough is enough example that I gave, Mm -hmm. you're letting go of those things that are draining you. And that's just going to increase your star power. It's going to shine brighter and brighter. And as it becomes brighter and more clear, and you then do this process of creating your own personal treasure map, you lay out for yourself this new perspective of your life that your guiding light, your star, is leading the way. So instead of, as I said, being what other people need you to be, you're there to be the person that you're meant to be. And from that place, you can be of service out of the fullness of you instead of the sacrifice of you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much for making that available to us. Did you have any last thoughts? We have about 30 more seconds. I want to make sure I've given you an opportunity. <laughs> well, thank you. I, um, I just wanted to say that if there's one thing underneath all of this that is important is the commitment to oneself. Mm-hmm. And whatever that means for you, whatever that thing is that calls to your heart, that says, this is me shining through beyond what I do for other people, commit to yourself to be that for you. And I'm just pausing because I want people to take that in (laughs) and ask themselves, are you willing 
to be all that you can be? Are you willing to, to say enough is enough? Are you willing to commit to making those choices? To live in your star power and bring that forward. We're getting ready to go to break. Again, we love hearing from you. We hope you have a moment to sit in those questions, access the free gifts. Remember, you just click that tab over or that link, I should say, over on the right hand side and you'll see all these amazing gifts open up free for the taking. We hope that they nourish you and really help you step into your star power. We look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Live up to your fullest potential. This is the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Want more positivity in your life? Are you ready to get healthy, happy, and energized? Join the Stella Donna Goddess Gals, Cynthia Bryan, and Heather Brittany for a power hour of stimulating, supportive conversation on Star Style. Be the star you are. A lineup of best-selling authors, celebrities, and experts. Join the effervescent mother-daughter dynamic duo in this upbeat, positive, life-changing talk radio playground. Star Style. Be the star you are. Wednesdays, 4 to 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Lend us your ears. It's power time. Do you or somebody you love have a struggle with abuse? You don't need to be a slave to your abuse anymore. Listen for Beyond Abuse, Beyond Therapy, Beyond Anything with Dr. Lisa Cooney. Dr. Lisa overcame struggles in her own life. Two decades of sexual, emotional, and physical abuse nearly took their toll. In her 20s, she turned her life around and set upon a path to help others. She can help you find the key to take control of your life, too. Listen every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Now there's a new destination for video content, voiceamerica.tv, just like our radio channels and so much more. Voice America Variety, Health and Wellness, Business, Sports, Green Talk, Power Up Motorsports, and 7th Wave Network now have their own video channel components. Plus, check out exclusive programming, including movies, music, educational courses, science and history, current events, and short features. High-definition, premier quality programs available 24-7, voiceamerica.tv. If you think you've seen online TV like this before, let us support you. Success starts here. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. It's your world. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or a comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's one 346 9141 You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed your break and you're really uh, dipping into some of those free gifts. But I don't want you distracted looking at the free gifts. I promise they will still be there. (laughs) I want to make sure we have your attention for this last segment of the show. And one of the things that I see come up as we're breathing, as Vicki was sharing earlier, and we're looking at making those choices and enough is enough and the not to do list, when we start stepping into that place and really being willing to emanate some of our star power, self-doubt can come up and overwhelm and fear. And Vicki, I wondered if you would mind sharing how, how can we deal with some of those things, the self-doubt? How can we perhaps move back to center when we're feeling afraid or overwhelmed or we're dealing with self-doubt? Um, I, I think that First of all, um, I love this enough is enough that Laura brought in. I think that it has something to do with this because what happens, I think, with self-doubt, whether it's because we have somebody else, you know, some crazy maker in our life or naysayer in our life saying stuff that, you know, you're never going to make money doing that or you're never blah, 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 or whether that's our own internal dialogue where we're telling ourselves, I'm not enough, I'm not going to be do this or do that. Um, that's something that, that's equivalent to the parasites you were talking about. Sometimes we think about those parasites as being external to us, 
but they can also be internal, and it's like, what what are we doing that feeds that, and what can we do to stop feeding it so it drops away? And one of my favorite things to do is very, very simple, which is simply when you start to hear that brain mutter, the, or you hear somebody speaking to you in a way that is less than respectful, what you can do is actually just bring your attention so that your half of your attention is what's happening in that dynamic, but the other half of the attention, just bring your attention down to your feet because your feet are where we connect to the earth. And in uh, the Taoist system or Chinese martial arts system, the, when we're accessing the earth, we're accessing our ability to stand our ground or to feel like we have a leg to stand on, to have a sense of accessing our confidence. Even if we've got some chatter going on internally, like, oh, my gosh, maybe they're right. I'm not who I think I should. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I should be different or something like this. When we can bring the attention simply to the feet, drop the sit bones, which is the, 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 the hips, basically, and the tailbone down towards the ears, almost like you have a big kangaroo tail hanging down. We're able to really connect with our own sense of strength through our bodies, and that will flood in and begin to also shift the chemistry that's happening in your, in your brain that's saying, somehow, you should be doubting yourself. Thank you. It's funny, as you were saying, shift your attention to your feet, I started looking at my feet. <laughs> Noticing them <laughs> in a different way. <laughs> so thank yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, they're they're undervalued members of our body. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I agree. So thank you again, those of you who are driving. Don't get distracted by your feet. <laughs> you can look at them <laughs> when you are not driving. <laughs> but thank you for give you the power to go and to break, right? To stop and to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so be careful with when you choose to access that. So thank you. I I. Appreciate appreciate that share I was thinking about it too how sometimes that voice can come up that says who are you who do you think you are stepping into this space and I was having a conversation with a friend about that and we were talking about how that voice can come up and playing with the idea of actually answering that question when it comes up whether it's internally or someone else is saying that to you or that's how you're interpreting it Instead of getting on the defensive or shrinking back or starting to go, who am I? Instead go, well, hello, I'm Rebecca. Who are you? And invite a conversation and collaboration versus where we're shrinking back or at war. And sometimes that voice can answer and it can say, I'm your protector. I, I'm trying to keep you safe from places you haven't been before. I don't know that you can survive that because we haven't done that before. And then the conversation can continue. And you can go, thank you for protecting me or trying to. But I assure you, I know this thing that I'm looking at doing, I'm not in mortal danger. And I can disengage at any time. And then the protector can say, great, well, I've got your back. And it becomes a different conversation. So I invite you to... Put attention into your feet and, and really ground yourself. And also welcome some of that dialogue to really put you in a position of collaboration where all of you is coming together instead of creating a situation where you feel like you have to shrink back and shrink your star power and energy because we really want you to shine and come forth. And I wanted to let you know as we're bringing our show to a close today what you can look forward to next week we're going to be focused on business and relationships and really discovering how to shine in those so we have been working on in july developing our star power and stepping into that and then sustaining it and now how do we do that and shine in our business and relationships. And we're going to be hearing from Ms. Deanne Hayes, who's a business marketing specialist, and Dr. Gary Salyer, who specializes in and is the creator of Safe to Love Again. So it'll be a great show. I hope that you'll be able to join us at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Empowerment Channel. And then what I would like to encourage you to do this week is to really... Look at your life in a, in a proactive way, using that lens that you're viewing things or discernment 
about what is your not to do list. What are the seedlings? What are the parasites in your life? What are ways that you can start to actively build nourishing practices in so that you can sustain your star power and have it stretch forth in your life? And, and some of what you were sharing, Vicki, about having those shifts, having that paradigm move in our lifetime. Really, that kind of energy and urgency because you're the only you that we have. You are the gift to us. And what I really want to empower you to do, and I know the heart's desires of my guests in this way, is to really help you be in the center of your life, front of the stage, not on the side, really standing in your star power in that place where you can bloom where you're planted and shine. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I'll look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time and 2 p.m. Pacific Time on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine. Shine.